Yep. I feel like I've been doing this for all afternoon. <laughs> Private joke. G'day, podcasters. Here we are at the uh, little bit of the country, South Australia. Uh, we've got Wollonga on one side of us and McLaren Vale, and I'm with the Marius wine grower and producer, Roger Pike. Roger, thanks for joining us on the podcast show. Thanks for thanks hosting us here. We've had two days of cricket, and we're, we're back. Simon Killen, who's uh, hopefully hit the record button. <laughs> we're at, uh, at, at your patch here. It's just gone 12 o'clock local time, and I've never had such fine wines. Just talk us through what we've had here. A symposium? Yeah, symposium. That's a Shiraz Mataro blend. Really earthy. and uh, very earthy. Yeah, not too hard to drink. Especially before 12 o'clock. <laughs> uh, it, it actually gets easier and easier. Mm. Third bottle just slips down. Unfortunately, it'll drive back to <laughs> Melbourne. Uh, we can't do this. These are the grapes growing here for next season. When will these be picked? Yep, these will probably be picked in middle of March. Fantastic. Fantastic. And how does the pick happen? Uh, a whole bunch of uh, wine tragics come along and, and give their labour for nothing, sweat and graft away and... Uh, I could do that. ...without pay, but... Oh, hang on, I can't do that. But there's... <laughs> Is there there's, any add-ons? There's food, beer, wine... I could do that. <laughs> I could do that. Now, I've learned something just talking to you. Uh, so, in, in Australia, people label the grape, is that right, as opposed to yeah, the geography? The labelling of varieties is very important. The region's also important, but unlike uh, Europe, um, we actually tend to talk about varieties and even the specific percentages of varieties in our wines. Mm. That's like cracker. That's a wine term, isn't it? When you have a sip of wine, you cracker. Is that yeah. cracker? Yeah. Can you go one higher than a cracker? Like if something's like absolutely just ballistic, can you say it's ballistic? Or what's higher than a cracker? Really fucking good. Really fucking good. So you could be on a first date and the waiter does a pour, and you could have a sip and you go, "What do you think?" She goes, well, "It's a cracker." He or she could say, "It's a cracker," and you can say, "You know what? This is really fucking good. Fantastic." So this is the 2016. And our cameraman yep. Simon Killen was very, and still is very excited about the 2016. Yeah, look, uh, hopefully you won't be alone when it eventually gets released. Are you happy with this? Yeah, look, I, I am. I am. Do you uh, think people call it a fucking great wine or just a cracker? It might become a fucking good wine with time. Well, might. Uh, my kind of, uh, as people get adult diabetes, I've got a great affiliation being an adult wine kind of connoisseur, a wine snob if you like. And uh, Karen, this is one of the greatest red wines I've ever, ever had in a beautiful location. And we encourage all people to drink South Australian uh, wines and no better here at uh, your wonderful winery. So thanks very much. Hopefully you'll see me and Simon I hope so. in the pick time because those conditions uh, will be fantastic. So thanks very much and uh, back to you guys at the podcast show. Thanks, Jason.